with both of our skill sets, we were able to merge our expertise and in a way that would uh, build a device that could actually, in real time or near real time, uh, detect both deadly and medically relevant uh, viruses and bacteria. So these are the, the actual sensors that go into the housing. The device is so versatile that it can actually be uh, uh, tailored towards any type of pathogen. The results can be instantaneous. Usually we're talking uh, seconds to minutes, which is a huge improvement uh, uh, in, in the detection of pathogens. When the project was being developed, we wanted to design a sensor that allowed us to um, measure and rapidly detect uh, antigens in solution. But in order to make a sensor, you first have to solve a very complex problem. As the sample sweeps across, the sensor itself is excited with an RF frequency. The acoustic wave travels uh, perpendicular to the flow of the of the sample and as it travels across it, it travels at a certain speed. As the, the chemistry interacts, your target binds to the surface, it slows that wave down. The electronics then measures the difference in the speed between the uninhibited acoustic wave and this inhibited one. had problems with this lane here. Well, I can't tell you how enthusiastic we are at the Health Science Center uh, regarding this device. Uh, not only does it represent a very successful partnership between the national laboratories and our academic health center, uh, but it also really represents uh, the potential to have a very significant impact on the way uh, physicians practice medicine.